So, we got some updates. Let's talk about it. So starting off right away, Chase said if the deal doesn't get done by Sunday, he's willing to renegotiate next offseason. Which, again, as I've said in my previous video, based on what it seems like, this is based on what it seems like, not based on any kind of facts or 100% you know, information here. It seems like the Bengals are trying their best to get to a number that Chase refuses to budge off of. Well, I guess Chase and his agent. So Chase and his agent have a number in their mind that they want. And the Bengals are like, listen, we're trying to get as close to that as possible. And repeatedly, it sounds like Chase is like, no, we're going to do that number or we're not doing a contract. So it seems like no matter how hard the Bengals are trying... Chase has a number and he just wants that number, which the Bengals usually do not budge in these situations much. They're not known for being a team that budges and, you know, gives in. So the fact that they are budging in any capacity is kind of amazing because that just isn't how the Bengals usually operate. But Mike Brown did say we'll bend over backwards for Jamar Chase to get this contract done. So maybe this is why. Um, but with that being said, we have another update, which is 10 minute recap of Chase talking to the media. Number one, full healthy. Probably will be limited if he plays Sunday. Game time decision is his call. Uh, Joe Burrow has claimed he's going to play 100%. So I guess we'll figure out that situation. But my guess is, if anything, this is just trying to get the Patriots off balance by saying, oh, Chase might not play because Chase is going to play Sunday. Um, Chase says he's got a good 40 to 50 snaps in me for Sunday. Says he usually does around 60. So again, like I said, it's just like counterintuitive here. Um, He's limited. If, he'll probably be limited if he plays on Sunday. But he claims himself that he will play 40 to 50 snaps, which that's like 90% of his normal snaps. So, yeah, he might play a little bit less, which makes sense because he hasn't practiced all offseason. But still, he'll still play. He said, if I do play, I'll have to. It's just like one game into next week. I have uh, I have got to forget about every mistake that has been done and on to the next. Confident uh, a deal will get done. His personal deadline was today. Could it happen by kickoff Sunday? Could happen by kickoff Sunday. So his deal overall wise done today. He wanted it, He wants it done by today. Willing to play Sunday in this season without an extension? Bet on myself. Nice. Took major issues with a one more penny. Uh, took major issues with one penny more than Justin Jefferson report. If I want to beat Justin, I'm going to beat the crap out of Justin. Not by a penny, bro. That's a weird way to say that. Um, So he wants a lot more than Justin Jefferson. He just doesn't want just a penny more. He wants a lot more. Which again, like we have initially reported, seems accurate. Because the initial portion of reporting was he wanted $160 million over four years, which would be $40 million a year. So that now seems like what he's asking for. Which is... <sighs> bruh. Does it feel like the Bengals made good uh, to bend over backwards to get an extension done with Chase? Now it does, yes. So he's saying maybe at first when they were offering him deals, they weren't going anywhere close to his number. But recently they've been actually really getting close to his number. I wonder how much they're offering him. I would have to assume... They're offering somewhere in the ballpark range of way over Justin Jefferson at this point. It might really be way over Justin Jefferson. So that's kind of interesting. He said, I love Cincinnati. It's a beautiful place to be. Uh, does he think he's the best receiver in the NFL? I know for a fact I am. Interesting. Chase says he had only one offseason throwing session with Joe Burrow in L.A. to returning on August 25th. Chase has practiced with Burrow August 25th, 26th, and September 4th uh, through today. So, yeah. I mean, this is why I think another reason why Chase didn't practice because he didn't want to speak to the media. And when he did speak to the media, he wanted to kind of unload like he did here. 
This is a lot of information. A lot, a lot of information here. Um, I'm excited to see how this ends up going with potentially T. Higgins not playing on Sunday and Chase being limited to 40, 50 snaps, which again, like I said, it's kind of normal. Um, okay. Let's actually take a look at that real fast. Um, I think it's football snaps counts 2023. My football guy. So let's go. Uh, Cincinnati. So if he did 40 to 50 snaps, like he said, um, week one last year, he did 54, 59, 74, 50, 76. Okay, so it's, it is honestly right around what he normally does. So it's not really too outrageously crazy if he did only have 40 to 50 snaps. That's right around what he normally gets um, when it comes to per week. So, that's actually not that bad, uh, based on last year's production. And if we go 2022 production, um, well, never mind, 2022, he was playing a lot more. Man was playing a lot more than that in 2022. Um, uh, not too much crazy, but how about 2021? Yeah, he was playing a lot more than that, yeah. So, overall-wise, it is what it is. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.